All right. <clears throat> so we're going to do some kind of a scene today with a silhouette. So let's get some liquid clear on here. Now I've created a new mixture of this. So we'll see how the, this is one of the new things we're trying today. I'll create a new mixture of this stuff. Known home brew. Let's see how it does. The last painting it dried a little quicker than the last painting. So. Increase the oil content just a little bit. Let's see if that will help. Seems to be going on. With liquid clear, you don't need a lot of it. Just for blending, just for blending. Yeah, there's too much of it. So I make my own liquid clear most of the time. And on the last painting, I was kind of at the bottom of the that particular batch. It seemed to dry a little quicker than I wanted. Matter of fact, liquid clear usually doesn't dry all that quick, but it dry it before I finish the painting, pretty much. So come on, say hello. So I say no who's watching. Should be able to see the way I have this set up today. I only have one camera, but... Alright, so we put the liquid clear on here. The silhouettes are actually already worked onto this, onto this canvas. And they've been taped off, and then I kind of just it over the top of it. So hopefully they'll come off nice and clean. We'll see. If not, we'll correct it as we go. Wipe this just clear off. Nice even coat. Nice even light coat. All right. So horizon line is going to be. Probably about like right here. So let's put a chalk mark there so we don't get lost in that. It's a little lower than usual, but it's okay. And I usually put it. Let's chalk it on that side. I'm left handed, so that'll show up. It'll be okay. All right, so we're going to start off with some cadmium orange. We're going to have like a yellow, yellowish red sunset coming, I mean sunrise, sunrise or sunset, take your pick. You decide, whatever you're in the mood for. But we're going to start off with cadmium orange in any different, in any case. So we're just tapping some into the brush. The reason for that is on black canvas, if you open up with a, if you come right in with um, yellow on this black canvas, it'll turn right, a nice bright green. For you and unless you're having a tornado they probably don't need that so let's see i'm kind of going to want the sunrise to be like right in here so i'm going to start right here this will be the brightest part kind of scatter some of this orange out a little bit Horizon. Keep this corner's a little bit darker. Not too dark, but a little bit darker. Alright. Let's put a little bit more right in here. If any questions, just shout out. Alright. Now, without washing the brush, we're going to open up some cad yellow here. It's another new thing. This is a different type of cad yellow than I've used before. So we'll see how this does. Go right back in here in the center. Where we're going to want it to be the brightest. We'll kind of work our way out to the edges. Now, fill the brush back up every time we come back in here. We'll start right back in the center. And then we'll work back out to the edges.
All right. Mm -hmm. Again, I think without cleaning the brush, I'm going to pull out some. I'm going to just go. I'm going to pull out some. I'm pull out some alizarin crimson. picturing this in my mind, I kind of thought I'd put some, like, some um, dark sand in there, but I, I don't really I think I need it that dark. But we'll see. We'll see as we go. We might change it. Alright. Now, we're going to go back to a lighter color, so we're going to And I think we'll pull this we'll pull this cad yellow back out a little bit more. Just want to just leave a knife over there. Right back to the center where we want the sun to go lately. Later. Now, let's clean your brush. So if you're just tuning in, this is oil, this is oils on black canvas, stretch canvas. I stretched this canvas myself. As you can see. There's a video on my page about that if you want to do some yourself. That's fine. It's fun to create to control the entire creative process. Too close to that with that dirty color, but all right, let's just wipe the brush out this time instead of cleaning it. And let's wipe it out again. We'll just wipe it out again. Switch to another one inch brush. We're going to blend this out. Real light strokes. Everyone's being quiet on a Sunday. I can't see anybody saying anything. All right. All right, let's put the sun in here. And I think what we'll do, 
plan it this way, but I think we will do it this way. Put a little Indian yellow here on the palette. Yes, Logan. It's 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 wet on wet. It sure is. Alright, so let's just pull some of this. Just pulling out a little bit of Indian yellow. I'm gonna mix up some of this. We'll mix up some titanium white. Let's kind of there we go. Get a little roll here on my finger. Let's put the sun right there. Hmm. Let's put it close to this right here. I'm going to pull that, and I'm just going to pull out some titanium white. Let's get a little bit going on my finger here on my palette. It's going to be great, but it's going to be different. <laughs> All right, let's blow that out a little bit. Hey, Sonny. Hi, Elizabeth. Okay, guys, we'll just blend this out a little bit. All right, we'll put a few clouds in here. Not too many, but a few. So let's do, let's use a fan brush for that. And let's go with... I think I will use a little bit of sienna for that. So let's get, let's put a little bit of, let's try to think of what I want to put on here, but I guess this will work. Let's put some sienna on for the, at least for the back part. Don't want a lot of clouds here, because we, you'll see why here in a second. So some of these little wispy clouds. Don't want a lot of creepy little clouds out here. Make that a little wispier. And maybe like. Yeah, get this a little farther back. A little farther back. Maybe one more back up here. All right. Let's blend these just, well, we'll blend them. We'll do them. We'll, let's blend it next. We'll pick up a little bit of this height, highlight color. And not too much highlight on this cloud back here. All right. Now, now let's do it. Oh yeah, it's oil. Huh, that's a good idea, Logan. You know, we could, yeah, we could get this going. We could have like a tower on this side. If you ever paint, watch me paint much, I don't usually plan what I'm doing. But I got a little bit of a plan on this one, but I don't usually plan too much. I just kind of let it flow. All right, so let's, let's fluff these clouds out just a little bit. All right, now the next layer will be the silhouette. So we gotta get, let's do that part.
that's two. Alright. Let's use a filbert. And let's see. Maybe some midnight black will work good for that part. Work for this part. Oops, sorry guys, hit the camera there. Thank you, Logan. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I like your idea about kind of a medieval kind of a thing. It'd be kind of cool though to have like a castle tower or something right there. We could work that out. I think maybe. Let's see. Let's get some. Let's get the balloons in here. So you see, we kind of put the sun off to the side so it would drift into this balloon behind this balloon. Get this filbert in here. I may need a flat brush. This filbert might be too big. Yeah, I think it is. All right, let's switch brushes. And crisp up these edges. Pretty good, it looks like from the canvas side of the perspective. I'm gonna have to come back on that basket part. This is just straight midnight black. Going right over the top of that black uh, gesso. And the canvas is dry on that particular spot, so it's going on a little, a little less smooth, but that's okay. What's going on there? I don't have a flat that small. I'm going to have to paint that a different way. That's okay. That's why I do different stuff. Learn how to do different stuff. Alright, so if we kind of think it as I'm going here. If we hmm, I have to figure out which side I want to put this on. Which side I, I want to put that castle tower on there. And I'm just using the very edge of this brush on the edge and kind of pushing it on it so that it flattens. And I'm just using the very edge of the crisper, crisp side of it to a little difficult because I'm left-handed. So left coming down the left side, it's a little more touchy. This other one. Oh, let's get this. Let's clean the brush. So let me think about that. If we put the tower in, I'm like, what are we gonna do? All right. So we, yeah, we could. Yeah, okay. We could do some like a mountain thing over here on this other side. Let's get a brush up here that can that can deal with this corner. A little bit of paint thinner. It's midnight black. 
You gotta be really careful with this because you just paint there on that mixed up with that. All right. Well, all right. So if we're gonna put the tower in, that's gonna be the biggest thing. Let's put some mountains in here on this farther side then. Uh, mm -hmm. Hadn't planned to put mountains in, but hey, why not? Let's do that. We'll come in from the right hand side with some mountains. Just a little bit of mountain mixture here. Hey, Chris. What's up? All right, so let's just kind of. I'll tell you what, before we put that mountain in, let's put a different mountain. Let's take, let's get some Payne's Gray. A little bit of Payne's Gray. That's some white. The thing about making it up as you go, you just kind of do. All right, let's put a little of this on the side. Some white on the side. <laughs> All right, let's take a time out while I wash my hands off. Right, let's see. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. We want some dist very distant mountains to start with. We'll leave a little of that yellow to show through, kind of like a reflection on there. Maybe a little bit like that. There we go. All right, let's, put a, let's come across a little bit, not too much farther, just a little bit. with some, something a little more bold. Then we can come kind of like, oh, I need something a little, something to give me a little bit of an idea here. Don't touch it. Let's do this. So we're going to paint over that mountain pretty much we just put in, but that's okay. We know it's back there, right? We'll just color this in for right now. We'll come back and work on this some more. Where did you go? 
a little something like that. And then we'll work with the rest of it. All right. This will be our four, most foreground object. But. All right. Let's, let's deal with this hill over here. So it's not really a mountain. It's more like a hill, but that's okay. Let's put some... Let's just lay down some color. Let's block this in a little bit. I need the lay of the land. The land's gonna go kind of like that. It's gonna come down like this. I think we'll leave that a little bit faint like that. A little bit like that too. All right, now on this side, though, out the distance like that. Let's take let's take like a fan brush. I'm just trying all this new stuff today. <laughs> I'm eventually gonna mess up. Alright, so here we go. Let's just go out here and just kind of pull a little bit of this paint up. Just a little bit. So it looks like that's some really, really, really distant trees up there. Like that. How's that look, guys? Yeah, yeah, kind of like a dark tower. We'll lighten it up here in a little bit. But. All right, so let's see. All right, so we've got kind of a bright sunrise kind of a thing going. So let's put some, let's get a little bit of sienna, a little bit of green, maybe a little bit of yes, yellow. Side to start with. Let's start with this side. So let's start with this side. It's kind of laying in the land a little bit. Let's think about that for a second. Just a little, 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 little hill, hill up right there. And how about, how's about, all right, so let's do this. Let's put some trees up here on this edge. You want it to be all nice and even, just be all crooked. As long as they don't look like they got blown over by a storm. There we go. Maybe a few more out here. All right. Let's house about. What else can we put in here? Make this interesting. If I was flying in that balloon, what would I want to see? All right. Let's. Let me think about this for a second. Let me think with my paintbrush. I'm gonna, think about, I'm gonna think about what this piece of chalk. What if, what if, what if, what if? Alright, so our horizon line moved up. Alright, so let's. Alright, let's go backwards with it then. Let's try. What if... Hmm. All right, before we do that, let's tell you what. Let's continue with this grass stuff a little bit more. Let's kind of get the lay of the land here so I... Mm 
Maybe, 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 how about, what if, what if, what if, what if, let's take this, let's get a little bit of this, let's see, let's see, let's come in like, I think it's coming from right about there, maybe right Show you what I'm thinking here in just a second. I wonder if I can still do that with the filter. Maybe. I'm gonna scoot this over on this side a little bit more where you guys can see. So we're just gonna kind of get you a little bit of a stream. I know I had it going that way, but I think Maybe even like, so let's, if we're going to do that, why not add some land in here? So let's put right about here. Let's bring this down. We're just kind of making this up as we go. Hope you don't mind. All right, so let's see. And then let's just take, we'll take some of this gray that we had earlier and we'll just put some highlights on it like that. Not a lot, not a lot, just a little bit. how that's going to go. Let's just right. we'll come back and work on this water a little bit here in a second. So, do -do -do -do. we got this nice little guard tower out here on the corner. So, let's see. Let's have... Oh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's bring... color in there. All I'm doing here is just laying in place for this road. Because every guard tower's got to have a, a drawbridge, doesn't it? Alright, so let's see. 
All right, so with that, <laughs> all right, I'm having an amazing time trying to figure out what I'm doing. All right, so let's see, let's get, let's get a little bit more of this white. Let's come along this edge here. We're just gonna do a little bit of splash. Just add a little bit of splash along this mountain edge. If we want to get down here, we can actually kind of sort of start to give the impression that we've got a waterfall maybe falling down here. Right. So let's see. Let's put the grass in here. Let's go, let's kind of clean the brush. Mixing a little bit of extra different kinds of yellow in here as we come closer. I'll bring this up, have it overlap the water a little bit. I think we'll do that a little bit out here too. Just to You don't want to cover up all that black. You want to save that black because it's it helps you out there. It's your, it's your buddy. It's your friend. All right. So I'm going to turn my little balloon painting into the, the castle here. So <laughs> that's excellent. All right. Let's put a few things in here though. Let's make it. Let's spruce it up a little bit. Let's put, let's put, let's put some posts in here. This one's pretty far away. It's a little closer. So I'm going to do somewhere on this landscape, but let's kind of flesh this castle a little bit. I think we'll do that with a knife. So let's get, this is uh, Payne's Gray and Titanium White. We'll lighten it up here. We're going to kind of make a marble mix. tooth on this canvas so it's going to be a little while to get this down there. Let's see. A little bit more white. Just flush this in just a little bit. Uh. Oops, sorry guys. I do 
with that brush. Here it is. I want a little bit more color down here toward the base than what I get. So let's slide this out even with the pad, with the easel. Alright, yeah. I'm gonna take a some screen out of here. I'll take some yellow and just Okay, let's take in let's put some windows in here. So let's just like Alright, so they're gonna be contrary about that. Alright, hang on. Ugh. Get a lot of paint on that castle, so we're gonna have to have to make it come to us. So let's use this. If you don't have one of these tools, you ought to get one. Hold some big fruit. Uh, scraping tool. Of course, I don't want all these windows to be the same size or even in the same spot. All right, now let's now let's see what we can do with that. I think while we're at it, we'll add a little bit of shadow right here on the side of these parapets. There we go. And maybe shade this side down a little bit. So what I'm really doing here right now is I'm just kind of blending this out a little bit. Smooth and just to kind of smooth the color a little bit. Alright. Let's put let's put a drawbridge in here. I think we need something a little bit darker, so let's kind of make a little midnight black with this. Let's start with. Just kind of sketch it in here a little bit. Maybe I'll come like that far. It's like we want to be that same color though.
Hi Dorothy. Welcome to an adventure. We just started going here. Alright, so let's put <clears throat> let's do a little bit more of this window work stuff here. But let's kinda let's kind of let's put like This is an old castle, much older than these balloons. All right. So that's enough peddling with that. Let's put some put some more things in this landscape now. Uh, let's see what else we want to put in here. Let's put a couple of trees, maybe out there. On the horizon. All right, we got trees on the horizon. Let's put like, where do we want to put one? smaller one over here. And then maybe a tiny one like right, right in here. Alright, so let's do that. Let's put a couple of everbands in here. <coughs> Alright, so this is wet on wet oils in case you just joined. So 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 here we go. Alright, so mixing up some Sap green, then a black, and some mountain color. Alright, so let's start with this one. Can't see that too well just yet because we're painting right over the top of the landscape. We'll see in a second. Let me highlight it. value up on, especially with green, I try not to use white, if I can help it. So I'm just mixing some liquid clear here with this mix. I think it needs a little more, I think it needs a little more green. Come back and add a second highlight to this in just a second. Because that's a little too much yellow. So let's 
take a pick up a little bit of blue. Just a little bit. A little bit more. Here we go. And we'll use that for the third reflection on here. Put color on these trees. Well, shall we add a bird or two, maybe? Just gotta stick a couple birds up here. Let's do that. Let's see if I can find a brush. All right, so let me get a little bit of liquid clear, a little bit of medium. Almost done here. Let's pick up a little bit more of this gray, a little bit medium. Where did it need to go? Let's put a little bit more shadow right along here. Shadow, shadow. Let's see what we got here. we go guys. I'm down to my last person. Oh my goodness. I must have been boring. <laughs> oh well. What can you say? What can you say? All right so let's see. This window up here though doesn't look quite like I wanted to be. So let's, let's go back and fix that a little bit. Let's see. I guess I was too boring today. Hey, you didn't desert me, Anthony. Didn't bore you to death. <coughs> All right, well, I think that about does it. I particularly like that tree right there, so I'm going to take that tree back out. So let's do that. 
it shouldn't take long. Da -da -da -da. How do you kill a tree just like this? I'm happy with that, I think. So, okay, boss, it's, it's going to be back to you now. So I come up with my next strange idea. <laughs> Moki came up with the idea of a castle, though, so that worked out pretty good. All right, man, hope you're having a good weekend. See you soon. Bye.